Oh, I got something juicy to start off, guys. The controversial call that happened between Sacramento and the Raptors that cost them the <sighs> loss. What do you guys feel? What do you guys thought about the call? Like, what do you guys feel about the result that happened? Well, first of all, T. Ross is money. <laughs> That's what I'd like to say. That was a good shot. Like, I mean, Ross can shoot. How do you feel about the call? Like, do you feel like it was justified that they, do you think they should have gone to overtime? Do you think they should have counted the shot just because the error was not by the player, but it was done by the score, the timekeeper? Should, oh. I, th- I, I thought it should have went to overtime. Yeah. I, I'd like to see overtime. Um, I just want to see more basketball. Basketball, yeah. NBA. Everyone <laughs> felt the same way. And I feel, you know, just because of the fact that if you were on Terrace Frost situation, you didn't know. You looked at the clock when you got the shot. You looked at the clock when you got the, you know, the ball. And mm-hmm. you look at it, hey, I have 2.4 seconds to shoot. Right? It wasn't his fault that the timekeeper was saying, hey, DeMarcus Cousins you know, tipped the shot at the pass. But the timekeeper didn't start it until a little later. It wasn't his fault. So I felt like, you know. He it, still got it off on time, though. He still got it off. If, that's, a, that's a crazy that's part. That's the thing about it, right? So, so. This, he got it off in time based on the fact that it was at that 2.4 seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's justified. Not, you know, not just being a Raptor fan or not just being in Canada, but NBA was just an NBA fan. I felt like it deserved not to be, you know, the game to be decided not by that, you know, rule and error, but by another uh, going into overtime and actually finding out who actually won that game, right? Yeah. So. What, what did the other team say? Did the other team they, Well, Dave yeah. Yeager, the coach, tried to leave, tried to get out as, as fast as they could. <laughs> they, were telling, <laughs> you he, he, they were basically the telling him, he right was telling away. his players, like, go, yeah. go, go, let's go, let's go, leave. Yeah. So, because they didn't want to change the calls, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, and speaking of, you know, impressive calls, trying to hurry, but... A lot of the teams this year have been, you know, a lot of surprising teams, I think, uh, that's coming off early in the season. Who has been the most impressive team or the most surprising team that you, you feel so far early in the season? I'm going to think about that for a second. <laughs> let's go with Crazy. Well, let's go crazy. 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 Let's give him so. some insights. Well, so, insight. I'm going to have to go with the Lakers. They're a very young team with, uh, led by, I don't know. I don't even know who they're led by. I'd say <laughs> D'Angelo Russell, even though he, he is injured now, but... Yeah. Uh, they have a very young team. They're getting wins right now. I think they're at the 500 or above it a bit. They're eighth in the Western Conference, so they're doing amazing. Like as a young team, so I'm. I'm Shout happy out to for them. Jordan Clarkson. Yes, yes, Mr. Philippines. Philam. I actually took a picture with that guy. Um, <laughs> check my Instagram. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Luke Walton's doing a very good job with him. Like, oh yeah, leading for them sure. through you know the right kind of habits and the right type of. You know, basketball that you want to see Lakers is is fun to watch again. I think that's yeah. I, I, I agree with so. you. They're some of the most exciting team right now to watch. I, but I, I didn't Cleveland? think they would be. Yeah. No, Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland's amazing. Mm. They, they, they were. <laughs> I, I feel like they were expected to play this kind of way. Yeah, well, and defending champions. Yeah, it, so like they're not as exciting or more surprising. Um, what about you know uh, disappointing like you know the Wizards. Indiana, like uh, Indiana's. Uh, Your thoughts you know. about Indiana? Uh, everyone thought it would be a great team this year. It's just I, I, I just think it's were. the chemistry wise. It's it's not there yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they still have a long season though, so uh, I, I still see them like sneaking in, sneaking into the playoffs. But uh, right now, is the start wise, it's not what everyone was expecting. They have mm-hmm. a lot of new faces, like you mentioned, and oh, yeah, the emergence sure. of Miles Turner, just the fact that. They're integrating a very talented center into their system, and mm-hmm. they have well, new faces with Thaddeus Young and, and Jeff Teague. Right? That takes time in terms Whoa, of. Whoa! So Chris has been getting, a, has been getting a lot of texts. We got a request. Oh, sorry. Like, maybe that's why a he's. Lot of maybe requests. that's why he's last in fantasy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, we all we always gotta bring that up. Um, I about, guess our last topic. We got a minute, right? Who do you guys feel has been the most, uh, more the uh, the best or the most a more impressive player, Westbrook or or Harden in terms of how they're playing this early in the season. Take uh, one. Gonna, can, okay, I'll go. I'll go Westbrook. Oh, I saw. I'll go Westbrook. How do you feel? I think no, he's just a beast. Like coming from a fantasy expert, not really. I, it's the <laughs> first time I joined fantasy, but Westbrook puts up numbers, right? Um, and I think the records are pretty similar in terms of Houston Rockets and Oklahoma. I just well, I I just like watching Westbrook so. Yeah, it would have to be Westbrook. He does everything on the court. It's amazing. He has what? How many triple doubles he has this season? He has a couple already. 
Uh, I believe more than half of the games he has yeah, a triple probably. double. Yeah, probably. It's amazing. Right? And the fact that his usage rate is so high. Oh, yes. And he's basically carrying the Thunder right now, and, and it's amazing he's doing the to best. watch. He's yeah. doing the best he can. Mm -hmm. I just hope that he doesn't run out of juice, he doesn't run out of gas, I, and I he don't keeps think he, going. I don't think he'll run yeah. out of juice. He's oh, just a... Uh, how about, how about James Harden? Any James Harden comments, I guess? Or? James Harden, <laughs> he is... He's uh, showing us how good yes. of a passer he can yes. be. Oh, that yeah. he can run the, a team really yes. well. I think that's really impressive.